Hello, it's us again. Before you read this book, there's some things you should know. The Herald and I created this information pamphlet to fill you in on the details. Please don't let this comic fall into the wrong hands. Wedgie Wars. <laughs> Episode 1, The Fantasy Principle. A long time ago, in an elementary school far, far away, there were two kids named George and Harold. We rule. Me too. They had an evil principal named Mr. Krupp, who was strong in the ways of force. <laughs> he forced them to study. Blah, blah, blah. He forced them to clean. He forced them to, be, to behave. <laughs> so George and Harold hypnotized him. You are now Captain Underpants. It started out as a joke, but it wasn't funny for long. <laughs> Mr. Cup thought he really was the world's greatest superhero. He got into all kinds of trouble. George and Harold had to save him and the entire planet. Twice! Now the only way they can turn Captain Underpants back into Mr. Cup is to pour water over his head. But the worst part of all is George and Harold keep an eye on Mr. Gruff. Because for some strange reason, whenever he hears somebody snap his fingers, he turns back into you know who. So whatever you do, don't snap your fingers in front of Mr. Gruff. You heard the man. Please, please, please don't snap those fingers. This has been an, a public service announcement from George and Harold. We still deny everything. <laughs> we are kind of sink. Ooh, wanna change the sign again? Of course I do. Oh, come on! You can't be doing that again. <laughs> oh, nasty toilet pee pee sandwiches! <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> First, we must find a way to infiltrate infiltrate the stool. Wait. <laughs> then we can turn all the children into giant super powered evil. Zombie nerds! Finally, we we will use them to take over the world. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Silence, you fools! If your if our plan works, we must wait until it is narratively. Narratively confident. Top idea. Confident in the meantime. Meantime, we will watch their every move on our tries. Telescope. I. That's not say telescope. Tell me. Telescope. Early that morning. <laughs> Now for science class. Meow. Huh? What's that? Wow. Huh? Try it. There it is again. I instantly heard a cat and dog in here. We didn't hear anything. Oh, I must be hearing things again. You know, again, because I hear things a lot. Because I, you know. That's what I do, hear things. Maybe you should go see a doctor.
Well, we need uh, children this year. We need a volcano experiment. <laughs> but today is a really large, fake looking. Well, we go to fake because we got a, a real volcano where it'll explode all the way. Then it'll kill everybody. Now I'm going to put this in. Baking soda called Sorium Barricade. Meow! Uh, uh, now, what happens when I pour vinegar in the baking soda? Meow! Uh, meow! Uh, oops, I guess it was too much baking soda. How did you do that? Well... Better get her ass in her lips and get her into the world sister. Is into a radical meow! Um, uh, excuse me. I've got to go see a doctor. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm always thinking what you're thinking. What are you thinking? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. Well, just add a box of baking soda and a bottle of vinegar for the recipe. And whoever makes these cupcakes will get a big surprise. Let's add two boxes of baking soda and two bottles of vinegar in the, rep in the recipe. That way we'll get an even bigger surprise. Good idea. You can eat all the too. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. so, wait, wait, wait. Oh, look! Wait. The, he the head Wait. Today is Mr. Nut's birthday, and he'd like us to make, like to make a, bu a batch of cupcakes just for him. Why don't we surprise him and make updates for the whole school? They're thinking. Let's see now. This recipe serves ten, and we have about ten one thousand students in factory in the. So, we'll need 108, 150 cups of flour, 200 bot boxes of baking soda, 7 quarters of green food coloring, 5 sticks of butter, 150 cups of sugar, and let's see, oh yes, 200 bottles of of vinegar. Note: Please shake the, please shake your TV back and forth in the following word. Also, shout as loud as you can. Don't worry, you won't get in trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh, something tells me the lunch lady's made more than just one batch of cookie. Cut bits of crisp, crispy crub cakes. <laughs> but what a funny name. But, 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 it wasn't their idea, not ours! Speaking of ideas, I've got a good one. What? Run! <laughs> but it wasn't even my birthday. We know you had nothing to do with it. We think it was those two awful boys. So we can have well duh. Well, of course it was Arthur Harold, but do you have any proof? Mm -hmm. Proof? Who needs proof? 